see a problem from laplace transform we need to find the laplace transform of e raised to power 80 so uh, we have given f of t here is e raised to power 80 so taking laplace transform both side laplace of f of t will be laplace of e raised to power 80 so we know the formula of laplace transform that is 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t which is here e power 80 into dt okay so laplace of this will be like this now uh because the base is same and they are in product so we can add the whatever the power is there so 0 to infinity e power minus s plus a times t dt now you know from uh, uh, your basic understanding that integral of e power at is nothing but e power 80 only divided by whatever is it t so same thing applies here its integration will be e power minus s plus a into t divided by minus s plus a and the limits are zero and infinity now one Uh, first i will put infinity in place of t so e power minus s plus a times infinity divided by minus s plus a this is the upper limit minus the lower limit which is e power minus s plus a to 0 divided by minus s plus a. okay now look at here uh this will become infinity if this bracket will be positive because e power positive infinity is infinity only i want this to become minus this to become negative so that i will get e power minus infinity because i know e power minus infinity is 1 upon e power infinity and 1 upon very big quantity is 0 so i want that this thing become negative so i am putting a condition that for s uh, minus s plus a negative so a should be less than s this is my condition and for this condition this uh, will become negative okay so when i put this condition i will get e power now this is a uh, negative for a less than s this will be negative so e power uh minus of uh infinity divided by minus s plus a only for this condition minus now e power 0 is 1 divided by minus s plus a okay so this will become 1 upon e power infinity okay and this will be minus s plus a only and you can take this minus side inside so plus 1 upon s minus a now this thing becomes zero so first term entirely becomes zero plus 1 upon s minus a so laplace of f of t is your 1 upon s minus a 
so f of t was nothing but e power a t so laplace of e power a t is 1 upon s minus a so let's look at this proof once again the basic formula for laplace is e power minus s t f of t dt i use that uh, did the integration part then uh, for the first integral i know that in order to make this a uh, calculating uh, a good quantity not infinity if I want something good from this then this needs to be negative so this is the condition now because this is negative so you can come down as 1 upon e power infinity which is 0 first term became 0 and second term is 1 upon s minus a which gave Laplace of e raised to power at as 1 upon s minus a